This is a problem I came across in one of my readings and uh, it was mentioned that it might come up in an interview context so it's probably useful to know how to answer it. Um, the problem is how many times do a clock's hands overlap during one day? The way to solve it uh, is to imagine that the two hands are just two runners racing across the same circular circuit. And uh, if you look at it this way it becomes obvious that um, every time that there's one runner with an extra lap on over the other, then this means that there was one overlap, one cross. So if one runner actually made the lap two times more than the other, then this means that he has actually crossed the other runner twice. So if you look at it this way, uh, the problem actually simplifies greatly, and uh, we're going to solve it this way. We're going to assume that T is the number of elapsed hours, um, and uh, LM is the number of laps that the minutes hand has gone through, and LH is the number of laps that the hours hand has gone through. So um, if we had one hour elapsed, that means that the minutes hand has basically made one lap. The minutes hand, every minute goes just a bit, and then in, in, in an hour's time it would have made the entire uh, clock circuit. And uh, in terms of the hours hand, then this happens um, every 12 hours. Every 12 hours, you would have one lap. So, uh, so these are the two basic equations. And then um, if we apply this rule, the one, the uh, every extra lap equals to one cross, then uh, we would have these two equations or more actually. So um, every time the minutes hand has one extra lap over the hours hand, then this means there was one cross. And when there are two extra, then this means there are two overlaps, and so on and so forth, until we get this general rule that uh, the number of laps that the minutes hand has uh, is equal to the number of laps that the hours hand has plus n, then we have n crosses, n overlaps. Um, if you replace each one of the number of laps by their corresponding values, then you get this. And solving it, you get that 12, that t is equal to 12 over n, meaning that um, an overlap occurs every 12 over 11 of an hour. And this is about um, 1 hour and 5 minutes and about 27 seconds. So every 1 hour, 5 minutes, and 27 seconds, we'll have one overlap. If you divide 24 hours of one day, by this number, or 12 over 11, you will get that it will overlap 22 times. So this is your solution.